Hi, my name's Lily Diane. I am a lifelong artist, musician, and creative instigator. I live in the southwestern corner of Colorado, deep in the heart of the majestic Rocky Mountains. Today, I am going to show you how to totally transform your places and spaces using this bad boy of joy called Sari Ribbon. Oh, never heard of Sari Ribbon. This has more versatility than duct tape. It's going to be the product that you're going to want to hoard. I'm talking hoard. You're going to want to wrap everything you see with Sari Ribbon after this project. It'll be like that movement where everybody was knitting and crocheting little cozies for bicycles and lampposts and stuff like that. Don't say I didn't warn you. So turn up the tunes and let's get this dance party started. Promise you won't be sorry. Sorry. You won't be sorry. Sorry Ribbon. Boho Sari Ribbon Window Bling. I think my head's cut off, my head's cut off. My head's cut off. Let's talk about the supplies you're gonna need to make your boho style window bling. Of course, one cat, that's always helpful. A pair of scissors. You might need a tape measure to make sure of the lengths that you might want your sari ribbon uh, to go or to check your window size. Um, I really haven't used this at all. This is mostly if uh, you're one of those type of people that likes to be very exact. I'm not. <laughs> I fly by the seat of my pants and it's fun. Overalls help. <laughs> um, you might need some nails. If you're going to use a a dowel, like this wooden dowel, you'll need cup hooks. And the purpose of the nails is a starter hole. Take a nail, tap, tap with your hammer, pull the nail out, and then start twisting in your cup hook. It just kind of makes it a lot easier. Um, you can use, which is so cool, use what you have. Don't go out and buy something. Look around your house at your existing curtain rods. The only kind that won't work are the draw kind of, of curtains that have the pulleys on the side. So this is super easy to work with. And my favorite is a suspension rod. And then this is my favorite type of suspension rod, a little bit more narrow on the end so you can put it in harder to tight spaces. Uh, it gives you a little more versatility. The rod that I'm using in my bathroom is a little bit bigger and I mean, it's endless. The possibilities are endless. And of course, one of the most important things, besides your scissors, is your sorry ribbon. Oh, your sorry ribbon. That's about it, folks. Let's keep it easy and simple, and I'll meet you in the next section where I'm going to show you how to open up your sorry ribbon, begin cutting and assembling your very own boho style window bling. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Scissors. Did I already say scissors? Well, you're going to need scissors, so make sure you have scissors. <laughs> Thank you. 
this next section of your boho style window bling, I'm going to be showing you how to open up one of your bundles of the sari ribbon. You can see that it's all twisted together and it's really very simple if you know the trick. You should have seen me the first time I tried to open up one of these. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about outtakes. But anyway, up at the end, it's actually this one end is just tucked in. So if you go up to the end, you'll find it very easily. It's just tucked in there. So pull this out, roll it out, and you'll see that you've got this lovely piece of, well, it's actually <laughs> suitable for wearing. <laughs> Isn't this cool? I mean, truly, you could just wear a bundle of sari ribbon and everybody would follow you home for sure. But isn't it beautiful? So, this is what it looks like opened up. On some bundles, they'll use another piece of sari ribbon to hold it together. Um, I've also opened up sari ribbon bundles where there's more than one. You might see like it's a string like this. Let me just show you this one all a little bit different which, which is really nice and you can see right here the thread and almost always you'll find where the tail is so I work with the tail if I can find it if not you can bundle it anywhere oh yeah <laughs> one small important thing cut off the tag. Let's get this open and it'll just show you a little bit better one of the, how the strings and or the piece of sari ribbon has tied it around which is right here. So I'm going to work with the sari ribbon. You can always tell because it, it kind of goes sideways versus running um, perpendicular with the, is that the word perpendicular? <laughs> Let's just talk lily pushin. I'll make up some big words as I go. Um, and if you understand me, then you're probably my new BFF. And depending on what window uh, uh, type of window that you're doing, whether you're going to do a full curtain or you're going to do a valance will depend on your length. So I am going for more of a valance look. So this is a good length for me to go ahead and cut like this. If not, you would have to open this up longer for you to measure your strands. Now because we're going to be doubling them and making a knot instead of sewing, <laughs> I told you you'd like that part, um, add a, at least two extra inches so you have enough room to make that knot. And um, then we're gonna start going right now with this. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to put them right down at the end and I'm just gonna start cutting them. like that. Then you're going to leave them attached. Okay, so let's grab two strands. Just be bold. It'll start coming through. And pull, pull, pull. And there you've got two strands. Now take your dowel or your curtain rod, whatever you're using. This is where it gets really fun. You're gonna slipply, slipply, you're gonna slipply, yeah, slipply. Go under, pull your strands through, and cinch it tight. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that, look at all that. Okay. I'm not gonna roll in it. Now I have a few here that I've already pulled out. I just want to continue. Okay, again, loop them together. Grab it with this finger or this hand. Pull your strands through and tighten it. 
Now if you look on the other side, this is technically the front. So you'll reverse this, it gives that nice little, um, it almost this is what'll make it look like it's actually kind of sewn together. Now you just continue adding, 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 adding all the way to the ends. Um, if you're using a dowel like this, I do leave a little bit at the end um, without anything on it because it'll just start sliding off when you're taking it off your, your, cup, your cup hook. But, um, oh, and one more thing. When um, I, I was uh, challenged with this color, the neutral color underneath, which you can see that it really does cover it all up. And I like the wood, but if you're working like with a, a white rod and it's too white for you, you can always spray paint it. <laughs> Are you ready to start assembling? Here we go. I'm gonna fast forward this so it'll look like it took me two minutes, maybe five, <laughs> but it'll definitely get you in the flow. Watch as the color grows and we just go crazy wild with all this vibrant, yummy, yummy texture and color. I pushed everything very close together because I don't want my curtain this dense, but I wanted to save some room. So now let's go check it out in the bathroom, see how this fits and uh, make any adjustments. I'll meet you in the bathroom. Okay, we're back in pp.com, I mean, my bathroom, and we're going to do the test drive for this using this extension rod, um, adjustable extension rod. So I have it set to go, and as you can see, for me, this is already way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and hang it and then do my snip, snip, snip. So with the suspension rod, I'm gonna just switch sides well, I guess I'm not switching, but pull it to the area you want, and then you just start twisting. Twi there we go. All right. Now you can see, oh wait, <laughs> let me talk to you over here. Now you can see that it's hanging, and um, I can give a good idea, and like I said, I want more light. All I wanted was an accent, so, I'm going to grab my scissors. Now this is where it gets really fun. If you want to adjust the shape on this, you can literally do it in a scallop. You could make it go this shape, shorter here, longer in the middle. I'm actually going to do the reverse. I don't mind it long on the edges, but I'm going to give it a cut like this. So, and save all these scraps. So this is okay down here for me, and I'm just gonna start eyeballing it.
And if you want, just to give it that, remember I said it's the uneven is better. Go in with your scissors and just make it a little bit different. Just don't cut them all the same length. Just give it that little bit of, of interest. See, that's look, already looking really good. Now stand back for a second. Make sure that you've got it how you like it and then continue. I would suggest moving from this side now and tapering up. And voila, boho style window bling in under an hour. The beautiful thing about this is instant gratification. And as you're making it, you can see results right away with one or two times that you wrap the sari ribbon around your curtain rod, you're gonna get excited. And then you're gonna see how fast it moves. Ta-da! <laughs> Welcome back. I'm so glad that you came by today to hang out with me, learn from me, have some fun today, and find a very fun, easy yeah. words. Find those words. They're there. Okay. <clears throat> Well, that just about wraps it up for our class today. I do have a few final little tips uh, and closing remarks that I'd like to share with you before we get our dance party started. You may have noticed when I was assembling my boho style window bling for my bathroom that I ran into a little snag. And that was because I forgot to clip that little thread. I had my main tether, my main sari ribbon, but there was one, one thread. So do make sure when you're going through, just to go through and clip out that thread, this is no problem. You can just gently unwind it and you can roll it in a ball or do whatever you want with it or <laughs> you can wear it. <laughs> See, I told you it's versatile. Oh boy. I know this for a fact. When your family and friends come over to visit your house after you've finished your boho style window bling, oh, they're gonna wanna be you. Oh yeah, they're gonna wanna be you. But guess what? You can show them how to do it. Or send them over here and let me teach. Let's get the music started. Thank you so much and stick around. I have lots more classes lined up. Thank you so much. Bye-bye everyone.